Wait, let me try that in my DJ Khaled voice. Another one. No, 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 not your funeral. Mom's funeral. You're gonna kill mom? Oh. Guys, we have reached what has got to be the lowest point in Darman's YouTube career. The videos that he has been putting out recently are uh, questionable, to say the absolute least. You see, today I was going to cover the Kid Gets Trapped in Minecraft video that he put out last week, but then I saw his most recent video, Kid Tries to Kill Mom for iPhone 14. Yes, boys and girls, it has begun. Darman has officially started to make videos like his copycats. This is basically just Samir Bhavanani's boy tries to kill mom for a VR headset. And you know what? I'm kind of okay with it. Maybe Darman has finally realized that he should probably not be taking himself as seriously as he does, and maybe he'll just start to have fun. Hopefully this video will give us some insight on whether or not that's the direction that Darman is trying to take, because I can't imagine that a video that has this sort of title would contain any sort of life lesson. No, not that most Darman videos do, but you know what I mean. So, uh, let's find out. Let's begin. Please subscribe. I know this is a tough time for everyone. And we lost a really good man. And Gerardo was a gentle man. Remember how we used to love silence? <laughs> If that is not the most forced piece of dialogue I have ever heard in my life, I don't know what is. If I die and the person holding my funeral says, don't you remember how we used to love silence? I'm coming back and I'm haunting him. Who loves silence that vocally that that's what gets brought up at your funeral? Everybody likes relaxing, but nobody should love silence that much. They just couldn't think of any other way to make it more disrespectful for this kid to do this, so they said on this. Oh yeah, I mean, he really loves silence, because that's a normal thing to say at a funeral. Stop. 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 <clears throat> he was so kind, and he always lived life to the fullest. So may he rest in peace. Come on, Darman, really? I don't think there's a single teenager on the planet who would actually act like this. I could see like a really small kid doing this, but not like a 12 or 13 year old. I think if you were gonna be this misbehaved at a funeral, you would either not go or your parents wouldn't bring you. Okay, come on, all right? I hardly knew the guy. Don't be disrespectful. Do you want your phone back or not? Fine. Hey, Jackson. What? Do you want me to do something funny? No, absolutely not, dude. I'm serious. Fine. Wait. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, I hear something. Oh. He's in there! He's alive! He's alive, everybody! He's alive! I will give this video one thing, and that's that this kid's a pretty good actor because I don't like him. Sure, it's a bit over the top, and I don't think anybody would actually act like this, but, uh, the character is definitely not likable, so, uh, good job on that, Dardar. Wait here. I need to apologize to her for what you did! Ugh. Don't... Seriously, Daniel, you really outdid yourself this time. I mean, even for your standards. Yeah, 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 whatever. Just give me your phone. I want to play Roblox. If this is standard behavior for this child, it really begs the question, once again, why would you take him to a funeral? Especially if he doesn't even know the person. Leave the kid at home. I can't imagine how difficult this is for you, Margie. The family put this together for you to help cover all the expenses. It's $10,000? Goodness, no, no, this is too much. I can't no, accept this. No, please, we insist. It's... Just take it. Yeah. I think I figured out how I'm getting my iPhone 14. Hey, uh, Daniel, is that your name? Or is that the little kid's name? I don't know. Whoever the guy is with the sunglasses, this is when you report your little brother to the police. I know it's a hard thing to do, but you know what? Good choices are not always easy. That's the way of life, man. Your brother might be a serial killer, and you need to start accepting that. We should set up a GoFundMe for a funeral. <sighs> okay, um, Daniel, you do know, uh, someone needs to die for there to be a funeral, right? Are you gonna kill me? No, 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 not your funeral. Mom's funeral. You're gonna kill mom? Shh, be quiet. 
So, you know how mom's going on that silent retreat for 10 days with no electronics? Not even phones? Um, Darman, are you having fun creating tiny psychopaths? Because this plan is genuinely psychotic. Really struggling to see how this is going to turn into a life lesson, how this is really going to change lives, you know? I have a feeling that it won't. Have you lost your mind? <sighs> Seriously. <laughs> Bro, what happens when people show up at our house? Look, why would anybody do that? I mean, mom has no friends and all their family's out in England, so there's no way that they fly out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This has got to be the best idea I have ever had. I have one hope for this video, and I have a feeling that it will not be fulfilled. I hope that Darman addresses that this is super duper illegal and, like, textbook fraud, because if this kid just gets a slap on the wrist, I think Darman should genuinely be permanently discredited. If this is not shown as a crime, then there is no sort of life lesson in this whatsoever. Remember, this retreat has no electronics, so if there's an emergency, call the number on the counter. All right. Mm -hmm. Please help your grandma take care of Daniel and don't let him get into trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eyes in the back of her head. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off. Right. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye, darling. It was nice now. Uh, buddy, are you are you starting to genuinely consider killing your mother for an iPhone, or are you still just in fraud mode because uh, your tone is uh, is getting a little serial killy? I must admit. That's why I'm putting her phone onto airplane mode. What? No, no, Daniel, seriously. Dude, even if you can get away with this, that doesn't mean you should. Seriously, you shouldn't be stealing from oh, no, people. Hey, hey, hey. It's not stealing. They're the ones donating it. Oh, hey, check this out. Super believable, right? Hey, uh, older brother, how about you stop giving this the, you know, soft treatment and say, hey, buddy, you will go to child prison if you do this. This is a felony. Maybe a little more of a rough around the edge approach would work here. This is not just some silly, oh, I'm going to take some money from people. This is a felony. This will ruin your life. Hey, chances are I'll have enough to buy you an iPhone, too. Wait, really? Mm hmm I iPhone 14? Yeah. Let me see. All right. Oh, another donation. The more I watch this, the more I start to get the feeling that maybe these two were not raised in the best environment. This guy looks 17, 18, and he's willing to commit fraud for a new phone. That's probably a product of not good parenting. So you know what? Maybe this is on Patricia. I don't know. Wait, let me try that in my DJ Cal. Another one. Why am I watching this? I'm starting to ask this question more and more as this video progresses. Let me try this in my DJ Khaled voice. Oh, okay. I work in the same building as her. I heard about what happened. I am so, so sorry. Are you boys doing all right? Um, um we're um, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yes, we're okay. We, um, it's um, it, it's been uh, very difficult for us, and we just came here to get our minds off of things. I can't even imagine what you must be going through. Is there anything I can do to help? No, uh, I uh, really appreciate the no, offer, no, no. but we because Actually, uh, we were... um, you could donate to the GoFundMe, but that's all I can think of. Of course. I don't often wish for children to go to prison, but I don't feel bad doing it in a fictional setting. Please, Darman, you will be forgiven. I will consider you the best YouTuber of all time if you just made this kid go to prison. I don't know. I have not watched this entire video yet. I want to be surprised. Please tell me. This kid gets arrested for fraud. Why? Why? Why would you tell her that we're having a funeral? Okay, I had to say something, man. All oh, right? right, right, right. So let's just tell her that we're gonna have one, and then when everybody gets there and realizes that we're not, what are you gonna? I don't know. We'll just have a funeral then. Crazy. You're literally crazy. Do you have any idea how much any of this is? No, but it can't cost more than six thousand dollars. I mean, can't there be anything a tad bit cheaper? Oh, so Darman's really just biting the bullet, huh? Going all the way through with this. What's the next video gonna be, huh? Kindergartner's first tax evasion? Third grader's first insurance fraud? What is this? What is going on? You see, the thing is, we don't really want anybody seeing the body. Would that be possible? In all my years, I've never heard that kind of request. Let me go ask my manager. Thank you. Thanks. 
Okay, seriously, this has gone on way too far. We need to call this off. You know, I don't even feel bad for the older guy. Just stop it. Say, hey guys, sorry, my little brother, who is very immature with not a fully developed brain, made a very stupid decision. Here's your money back. Please don't report my brother to the police. I mean, seriously, this video is so stupid. You're a grown adult. Stop asking your 12-year-old brother to stop. Just make him. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, how much is that? The dress? No, no, it's... no, 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 no. Not the dress, the mannequin. You want to buy our mannequin? Yep. Um, I've never been asked about that before. Uh, let me see if I can even do that. Thank you. Okay, Daniel, I swear to goodness. Oh, okay. You're digging yourself into an even deeper hole, and I didn't think that was possible. But bro, even if you get a body, Answer this question. Yeah, uh, I have a question of my own that I think's a bit more important than the question that this guy's about to ask. What happens when your mom comes back, buddy? People work with your mom, people who are going to the funeral like we've already seen. Why is that not the pressing issue? You're holding a funeral for a person who's not dead and you're not worried about your mom coming back in a few days? Explain that one, please. All right, so they hold the funeral and then what has got to be the worst plot twist in Darman history happens. I'm just gonna let you watch it. <laughs> I have Dude. to see her face when I clap. No, 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 Grandma, you can't! No, no, no! Oh, no. Mom? But... No, no. Mom, please! Please! No, no, no! But how did... Come back, Mom, please! I'll do anything, anything, anything! Anything. Anything? Yes, anything. Mom? <sighs> I mean, really, Darman? Normally, the twists in these videos are at least somewhat funny, somewhat believable. I know this is supposed to be a comedic reveal. I don't even want to hear the explanation on how this was supposed to have happened, but uh, let's, let's humor it anyways, I guess. What's going on is you're in big trouble. Grandma called the retreat last night crying, thinking something happened to me. Imagine my surprise when I saw the GoFundMe for my own funeral. Very sneaky turning off my iPhone to airplane mode. But when I turned it back on, hundreds of people had called me. I found out about this last night, and when I saw that everything was already planned, I figured I may as well just go along with it. Oh, look, I'm really sorry, all right? I just, I guess I kept digging myself into a deeper and deeper hole, and eventually, I couldn't get out of it. And I, I, I told what? him not to. I, I really tried. So. I'm sure you did, Jackson. But you could have done more to stop him. You. Just wait till we get you home. But first, we need to discuss paying all these people back. Uh, 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 about that. I can't, all right? I spent all of it. Oh, dude. Uh, dude, come on, stop. OK, fine. Almost all of it. I spoke with management, and they've agreed to refund everything if you volunteer after school every day here for the next six months and all of summer. All right, so I let that play out for a minute just so you guys could really see the full scope of consequences here. Everything that's come of what this kid has done. And yeah, wow, this child just committed federal civil fraud, which is punishable with up to 20 years in prison. And he gets a slap on the wrist and has to volunteer for a few months. What a wonderful life lesson, Darman. I really couldn't have put it together any better myself. Let's teach children that you can just commit felonies and get away with it. Good one, Dardar. So this might be the most infuriating Darman video I've ever seen for many reasons, but you know what? I'm kind of done talking about it. I am truly worried to see what Darman videos will be like in six months if this is what we're dealing with now. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.